Okay, so we want to display the electric field in many locations, not just one location. So the first thing I'm going to do is simplify the calculation of the electric field. So here I'm going to define a function. So functions are in Python when you've already used them, right? You already said norm r. That, gave, that was a function that used r and returned something else. We can do that kind of stuff. So I'm going to define my own function, e, as rq, ro, and q. So this says what parameters am I going to put into this function. I'm going to put in the position of the charge, the position of the observation location, and the value of the charge. And then it looks like a loop, so I put a colon there. And the first thing I'm going to do is calculate r. r is, and this is the same thing we did before, r minus rq. And then I'm going to return the value of the electric field. So I say return, this ends the function, and now I'm just going to type in the expression for the electric field, k times q times norm r divided by the magnitude of r squared. And let's test it out. Okay, so let's use the same values from before. r01 is vector uh, 0 0.0500. 0, 0. r charge 1 was at the origin. And then the value of the charge was, uh, and I'm using different names here just so that it, it would still work, but I just want to be a proper person, a proper programmer. Okay, but you don't have to. Three times three times 10 to the negative ninth. And then let's print E equals the function E R Q1, R O1, Q1. And it'd be in Newtons per Coulomb. And I messed up. Print E. So the problem in the function up here. R O. Oh, I don't have K. There we go. And that's what we had before. Okay, so we're happy. Now, oh, I'm happy. Uh, so now I'm going to put a charge here. Um, QQ1 for the charge. I don't know what I'm calling that. It's sphere position is equal to uh, RQ1. Radius was uh, 0 0.005. I think I said that. Uh, color was yellow. Doesn't really matter. And then uh, the observation location, uh, which I'm not even going to put in this time. I'm just going to use R01. Uh, and then I'm going to have this E scale. I think I did 0.02 divided by uh, 10 to the fourth or something like that. I'm going to use that again. And then let's make this arrow just to repeat where we were. I'm going to say uh, E1 equals arrow. Position equals R01, uh, O1. Axis equals E scale times E. Uh, and that was rq1, ro1, and q. And I'll leave it as white. Ah! Q is not defined. q1. Gosh. q1. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Now let's just make another electric field. Let's say all we have to do is this. R02, I'm just going to make a new observation location, and I'm just going to pick some vector value, vector, um, let's say, 0 0.04, 0 0.030, and now I'm just going to make a new one, just going to copy this, and I'm going to call it E2, and all I need to do is change this to 2 and 2. Check it. Isn't that cool? Let's make one more and then I'm going to show you something cool. So uh, let's do paste it again. And let's have another uh, thing R03 is going to be equal to vector uh, negative 0 0.04, uh, 0 0.60. Ah, no, no, 0 0.06. And this is going to be 3. And three. Check that out. 
and you can rotate around too. Okay, so now what if I want to just make a whole bunch of these things? I want to make a whole bunch. So and actually I'm going to make a new function and I'm going to steal stuff because I can never remember this. So if you go to GlowScript help, not there, there, this is uh, how to add uh, click mouse click interactions. And this program right here uh, makes um, a, this program makes a sphere wherever you click something. I'm just going to copy this function and I'm going to paste it. And um, so let's just change this to the radius of 0 0.002. Uh, and so this, I don't even understand everything here, but you have to put this in there. So what this does is when it gets a click, it runs this function show sphere. Let's just see if it works. Look at that. Well, I'm clicking and making spheres. I'm, I'm kind of impressed that it even worked to tell you the truth because nothing ever works the first time. Okay, now we want to change this to not make a sphere, but to make a electric field at that location. So I'm going to get that location and instead I'm going to say uh, let's say E temp equals um, and this should work but it may not work. Okay so this is going to get um, I need to find let's see let's do R. R is going to be the location is uh, LOC minus R Q1, which is the location of the charge. And then this is our temp. And then E temp is going to be equal to uh, K, which I didn't define outside of here. K equals 9E9. I don't, I'm a sloppy programmer, I get it. K times uh, Q1 times norm RT divided by mag RT squared. Now instead of a sphere, I'm going to make an arrow. The position is true, that's good. I don't need radius. I need axis is going to be E scale times E temp. I don't know if this is going to work. Okay, let's get rid of this stuff right here. I don't, I don't want the extra arrows there. And it might be out of order, so let's just move this stuff up here. Control X. Okay. Oh, that worked. Okay, so let's do this. Um, I, I, in order to, and instead of scaling it, I put, made my sphere, let's put a placeholder. So let's say placeholder is a sphere. And its position is going to be equal to a vector zero, um, 0 0.0900. 0 0. And the size, radius is going to be super tiny. Okay. Now that's going to just scale out the whole thing so I can see. Check that out. I'm kind of excited that this even worked. Okay, if you get too close, it makes it too big. Let me run it again. Uh, so let's don't get too close to the, um, and you could fix this, I'm sure. Okay. I'm pretty good. Okay. Now let's change, let's try something different. Uh, let me go over here and say Q is negative 3 times to the ninth, and it's now a negative charge so it's going to be red. I just made that up. Notice that the electric fields are now pointing towards the charge. And, and the vec these are the values of the electric fields at the tip, at the beginning of the arrow, not in the middle of the arrow. Okay. I'm pretty excited. I wonder if I can rotate yeah, look at that. I can do it in three dimensions. Okay. Sometimes I impress even myself. Okay, there we go. We're going to use this in a future program. So, 
If you don't like all this programming stuff and you think it's too complicated, I get that. I just want to focus on the physics, but I wanted to show you how to do this stuff just in case. I'll talk to you guys later.